We continue to follow a breaking news situation in Davis County. UDOT crews say a crane collapse there caused the death of a man. The situation is being investigated near I-15 and Glover Lane in Farmington. That's where some construction is going on with UDOT. Fox 13 News reporter Amy Nay live after hearing from the Utah Department of Transportation. Amy. Well, Max, this is a sad, sad day for so many people involved. Utah Department of Transportation spokesperson John Gleason was talking to us earlier, saying it's just so tragic for so many people involved. A project here along the I-15 corridor, the West Davis Highway Project, that's been underway for some two years. Now, a number of different teams with UDOT and with some other contracting companies have been working together on this project. And according to the Utah Highway Patrol, who we also just spoke with, they say it was just before 9 a.m. when a piece of equipment, a large crane, collapsed and fell onto a 42-year-old man who was working there on the ground. That's the only ID they've released thus far as they now talk to his family. 42-year-olds... 42-year-old man who's been working on this project sadly killed this morning in a construction-related accident on the scene. You can imagine the, uh, the mood of, of our workers and, and uh, the team members out here. When you uh, work so closely with, um, with someone and uh, depend on them um, to have, have them uh, lose their lives in, in uh, the line of their work, um, it's uh, it's a lot to process, and it's a very somber mood, as you can imagine, out there. And, and so we've uh, we've we've given our workers um, the day off, and I'm not sure when we'll resume. Again, that project has now been brought to a halt, at least for now, as they reconstruct what happened and try to figure out what went wrong. Still details are unfolding at this point. What we know so far is it happened just before 9 a.m. when a piece of equipment fell on the scene. An industrial accident is how UDOT classified it, but OSHA and UHP are now on the scene investigating. They say it will not affect commuter traffic at this point. The road has since been reopened after being shut down for a time, but everyone sending out their condolences to the family of the victim involved in this fatal crane collapse. We are here on 200 West in Farmington with the very latest on this. We'll keep you up to date on it. Max, let's go back to you.